Hey, what's up? It's Chris, the Drone Geek, and on today's episode of Let's Talk Drones, we're reviewing this guy right here, the Mavic 3 Portable Recharging Station by Colorado Drone Chargers. This is an awesome little product, and I cannot wait to share it with you. So, without further ado, let's talk drones. So, I think we've all been here before. Follow me. You're out flying your drone, whether it's recreationally or commercially, and all of a sudden you start to realize that you're almost out of batteries. It doesn't matter how many you have, I think most of us can say we've been in that position. This is especially a problem commercially because if you're flying a job for a client, you can't just stop and go home. You have to be able to fulfill the obligation to the client. Now, you could remedy this by plugging batteries in and charging them while you're flying with a fresh battery. But the problem with that is, is a lot of chargers that are manufactured by these drone companies that make drones just don't cut it when it comes to charging times. It can take upwards to two hours to charge a battery, and that's just not going to happen when you're working on location and you need to dip back in to your reserve batteries. You can also buy one of those multiple battery charging hubs that most drone manufacturers make, but again, the problem is you can only charge those one at a time, and when it takes between an hour and two hours for a full charge on a battery, it's just not going to cut it charging one at a time. Well, that's where this guy comes in. The Mavic 3 Portable Recharging Station, also listed on the website as the Mavic 3 PRCS, is something that Colorado Drone Chargers is really, really proud of. And I have to say, I'm pretty into this product as well. I've had this for about two weeks now, and I've had the opportunity to use it out in the field, both for fun and on commercial jobs to really put it to the test. And I have had nothing but success with this product. Let's talk a little bit about how it's marketed and what the company says this thing can do. And I'll share my thoughts with you on whether or not I found that to be true. First and foremost, the Mavic 3 PRCS by Colorado Drone Chargers is marketed as watertight, dust proof, and impact resistant. Now, uh, that's already attractive enough, especially for those of us that work in the commercial industry, doing things like agriculture, construction, all of those things are going to be important if we're lugging this thing around with us. The next thing that they market is their proprietary charging algorithm, which manages current voltage and temperature of your batteries while they're charging. So you can safely charge your batteries and not have to worry about them overheating or exploding or anything that could be terrible that might happen to a battery. It has four charging ports and storage slots suited to the M2 Intelligent Flight batteries for the Mavic 3. Now, if you order a different model from Colorado Drone Chargers for a different drone, it will still have those ports and those slots suited to the batteries for your drone. Mine just happens to be for the Mavic 3, so that's what the ports and the slots are. Are suited for. It also has one USB charging port so you can plug in a USB chargeable device and charge it with the case as well. Now here's the real kicker and probably the most interesting thing about this case and what I would say is the most attractive thing when you're considering purchasing a charger like this. You can use all four charging ports and the USB charging port at the same time. So you're not charging your batteries one at a time anymore. You're charging all of them at the same time. That's four batteries and one device through the USB charging port at the same time. And what's really impressive about that and what will be a huge time saver is when you look at the average charging times with nominal cooling that CDC says their case can achieve. First and foremost, from 20% to 90%, this case can charge your batteries in 45 minutes. Now, if you want to go from 20% to 100%, it's closer to around 60 minutes. We're going to test that here in just a couple of seconds. This case is black. It also comes in orange and tan. And another really attractive thing about doing business with Colorado drone chargers is that you get a lifetime warranty. No questions asked. If there's any problems with this case, you will have the opportunity to cash in on the warranty and get a replacement. Again, no questions asked. Colorado Drone Chargers is really changing the game, not just with their product, but with their service after sale as well. So we talked about what this case is supposed to be able to do. What was my experience with it? I've had it for about two weeks, and I've had the opportunity to use it in a variety of different applications. First and foremost, let's talk about the durability and the water resistance of the case. I found this case was suited for almost any application. I had this 
in a garage for a car dealership. It got kicked around by a forklift. It got absolutely tossed around in my car, on the ground. There were a variety of different places that I threw this thing and really not even a scratch on it. I don't see anything noticeable and the case works just fine. I can still charge my batteries on it even though it took an absolute beating. The only thing that hasn't happened to this is that I haven't dropped it from a great, great height and I haven't run over it with anything like you know a full-sized automobile. So it, it really does stand up to just about any abuse you can put it through. So if you work in an industry that's a little rough around the edges in terms of the working environment, like agriculture, like construction, this could be a really good UAV battery solution for you. Now, as far as water resistance goes, I didn't get the chance to actually test it in the field with like a real world use case like rain or something like that. But what I did do is I put this case up against a full cup of water. And I got to tell you, it performed really well. It took the splash, uh, the water got in the top, but it's got an airtight seal to the case. So it's one of those things where the water can't get into the actual case and get into like the electronics of the battery charging system. I was able to open it up. It was completely dry inside and I was able to plug it back in and charge my batteries. Absolutely fantastic durability from this case. Really, really pleased with what it's able to put up with. Oh, and did I mention that it is impact proof? And you know, while I was talking there about the durability, I did notice there is a little scuff right there on the case itself. Um, so it's not huge. I mean, it's on one of the grid marks, so it's probably designed to take that abuse, uh, but it didn't affect the actual use of the case. So I'm gonna go ahead and still chalk it up. Very durable case, giant W. And if that's the only thing that happened from all of the abuse that I put this through, I'm pretty darn happy. So now that we've talked about the durability of this case, as well as its ability to stand up against the elements like water, for instance, let's talk about the inner workings, the guts of this thing, the battery charging system. Now, Colorado Drone Chargers markets this, that it's able to charge four batteries plus a controller at once. Now, there was a problem with my test of this device. I, I don't have four batteries, but it's safe to assume that if I've got three batteries, which I got with the Fly More combo with the Mavic 3, uh, that it will be able to charge four. So I didn't use all four charging ports, uh, but I did use three of them. Plus I plugged my RCN1 controller from DJI in, and I can't really talk about it without showing you because I feel like seeing is believing in this. So let's go ahead and take a look at the time lapse that I captured of charging three batteries plus the controller for the Mavic 3 with the Mavic 3 PRCS from Colorado Drone Chargers. So you'll see there, we were just around 60 minutes. It was a little bit longer, but overall it was within the ballpark of what Colorado Drone Chargers markets this for. And all of those batteries weren't at 20%. In fact, one of them was at, I think, 15%, and then another one was at 35%, and I thought that sort of like evened it out a little bit. Um, so I didn't start them at exactly 20%, but they were pretty much at the end of their cycle, uh, so it was time to recharge them. And again, it was right around 60 minutes, and I had all three of my batteries plus my controller fully charged. In the field, when you're flying commercially for a client, the value of something like this, the Mavic 3 PRCS from Colorado Drone Chargers, cannot be understated. That was an extreme time saver. It would probably still be charging. Those batteries would probably still be charging as a set from the time that I filmed it this afternoon to now, which is about two and a half hours later. I would certainly still be waiting on at least one of those batteries if I had not had this guy right here. Instead, I got him done in an hour. In an hour. Roughly. Fantastic. That is worth its weight in gold alone.
Let's Talk Drones is brought to you by The Droning Company, the number one online resource for commercial remote pilots based in the United States. $10 a month, nominal cost. You're gonna make that back the first time you get a gig using your Droning Company profile or the online job board. It's just $10 a month. When you get a job on the online job board, The Droning Company doesn't take anything off the top. If it's listed at $300, you pocket $300. That's it, no strings attached. Again, just $10 a month for a membership with the Droning Company, you got to make sure you check them out, thedroningcompany.com and across all social media platforms. Another little thing I want to just talk about with this is that it does have storage slots for your batteries in it. You don't have to worry about water getting into the case when you're storing your batteries in it. You don't have to worry about impacts damaging the batteries while they're stored in this case. This case is going to protect all of your drone batteries with out any kind of issue as long as you've got like four or less i mean obviously but if you have more just buy two no no big deal uh so yeah this definitely doubles as a really secure storage solution and that one i wanted to throw in there too just because i, I keep my batteries in here now i mean there's no reason for me to have them in my photography bag it's made of cloth that's definitely susceptible to water definitely susceptible to impacts i just keep them in here the batteries are not cheap. So why would I leave things up to chance when I've got an awesome storage option like this? So now that we've talked about all of the good things, I think that I'd be remiss if I did not talk about some of the things I wish Colorado drone chargers would have done better. First and foremost, this is not travel friendly. And what I mean by that is if you fly a lot when you go on vacation, when you're traveling for work, whatever the case may be, if you need to take your drone with you and you plan on taking this with you on a flight, especially, you're gonna have a little bit of inconvenience tagged along with that because this doesn't fit nicely into luggage. So it's not easy to travel with. So you better count on this either being your carry-on or your personal item that you have with you in your seat. And that just, that's not super convenient. I like to watch Netflix while I'm flying. You know the next thing that i want to talk about is actually about the inside of this so i did say this makes a great storage option for your batteries and that is true those slots are great for the batteries and it protects your batteries from any kind of damage or water damage but other than that there's not a lot of room to put anything else in here it would be really cool if in the future they were able to implement a system where i could keep my batteries and my controller and my drone all in the case now i know that you have to make room for the charging system obviously that's the first and foremost with this thing but it would be nice to have it maybe be a little bit longer so that i have a spot for my drone and my controller i, I think that's definitely a place that this thing suffered and a place that they could have made up some ground with me uh, had they included some space for the rest of my kit my last con for this case is probably the biggest one and I talked to Patrick, who's the CEO of Colorado Drone Chargers, about this because it was something that sort of was a first thought for me. This does not have wireless charging capabilities. And what I mean by that is you can't plug the batteries in and close the case up like this and have them charge while you have the case closed and you're traveling with it or you have it in storage. It, you have to have the case plugged into the wall, into a wall outlet, in order for the batteries to be able to charge. And that's sort of a drawback for me on the case because one of the things that I really like about this is that if you're not flying on an airplane or a place that you really need to maximize your storage space, if you're just taking your car or your work truck or whatever, this fits nicely in that case. It's, it's pretty easy to travel with when you're talking about that type of a use case scenario. And that being said, I'd love to be able to throw my batteries into their ports and have them charge while in storage and on my way to a job. Now it doesn't happen often, but every once in a while I do find myself waking up the morning of a drone job and one of my batteries isn't fully charged because maybe I forgot to plug it into the charger. It happens from time to time. You do have to have this plugged into the wall. And another problem with that is, is you don't always have access to a wall outlet. And you know, that sort of defeats the purpose sometimes. So it, it's something to consider. One thing I would tell you is that to find my way around this, I actually purchased a Duracell outlet that plugs into my cigarette outlet on my car. And so I'm able to charge things with those 12 volt chargers, just like I would if I came home and I plugged it into the wall, it charges devices the same way. It's got the three prong port 
You just plug it in and it draws energy off of your car's battery. So worst case scenario, you could always buy one of those. I think they were like 40 or 50 bucks. Not too bad considering what you're going to be using it for. And then plug this into that. And you essentially then have a real wireless charging system in that you don't have to be plugged into a wall, just into your car, which is mobile, which somehow leads me to get it to wireless. I don't know. Regardless of the cons, I do just want to say and end on a really positive note here. This is an awesome product. This is one of my favorite third-party drone products that I've ever had. I mean, the convenience of being able to charge all of my batteries at once, the peace of mind that comes with this durable build, and just the, the support after sale from Colorado Drone Chargers is absolutely fantastic. It's an up-and-coming company. I think you'd be silly not to at least research this product. And I've got a link down below in the description of this video if you are interested in the Colorado Drone Chargers charging solutions. Whether you've got the Mavic 3 or another drone, they've got a lot of different options out there. So if you've got a model drone and they have a drone charger for it, I would highly, highly, highly recommend you invest the money, especially if you're a commercial drone pilot and you do this regularly and you do it for money. If you're earning money with your drones and you're doing it on a regular basis, there is absolutely no reason you shouldn't have one of these in your kit. It is going to save your life. I promise it's going to save a few client jobs for sure, especially those ones that are a little bit more long-winded throughout the day. Colorado Drone Chargers, thank you so very much for sending this over for review. I really, really appreciate it. This has been an awesome product. And again, if you are a commercial drone pilot, you're somebody that works a lot in a field like agriculture, like construction, you need something heavy duty and durable, this is, this is absolutely the solution for you. So Colorado Drone Chargers, check out the link in the description of this video. Until next time, I'm Chris, the Drone Geek, and I am out of here. Wait, 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 wait. I almost forgot. If you like this video, hit the subscribe button down below. Helps me out a lot. Helps get this video out into the algorithm. If you really, really like this video, you love drone content, there's no reason not to subscribe to this channel. If you found this video helpful in your research for a drone charging hub, definitely hit the thumbs up button. That helps me out a lot too. And if you really, really love drone content shot by drones, about drones, and for drone pilots, hit the bell icon. It'll give you a notification every time I post a new video. Seriously, guys, it helps me out so much, and I'd really, really appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel. Now, until next time, I'm Chris, the Drone Geek, and I'm out of here. See ya!